guys. I just thought I'd uh, give everyone an update on how things are going with the build. Um, firstly, news on me. Uh, two weeks after being uh, made redundant, I actually found a job, a new job, five minutes down the road, with a really exciting team and a, and a really exciting opportunity. So. Um, the gods have smiled on me down here and uh, yeah, I've got myself into something that's really going to uh, progress my career, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, this little video that, it's, uh, that I'm, I'm, I've got now for you is just how I manufactured the actual legs for the table. Uh, the next video will be the top tube um, that the Y axis will actually sit on and also the assembly of the table. So. Uh, this one's just short and sweet, just to show you how I give you the measurements of the uh, of the positioning for the holes on the legs, uh, and then the next video, which I'm hoping to put out in the next week, uh, will be the act will be making that exact that y axis, sorry, and the a full assembly of the table. So uh, stick around. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, let's get this build uh, back on track. Cheers. Well, good day, everyone. We're uh, out in the shed this evening. Uh, Got the little ones off to bed a little bit earlier, so straight out to uh, start fabricating the table. Um, what we're going to do tonight, or what I'm looking at doing tonight anyway, is getting the holes drilled for the legs. Um, I can't, because we're in suburbia, I can't make too much noise of a night time. Um, mainly because, as I said, we're in a new estate and the poor neighbours, or the existing neighbours, cop uh, construction noise six pretty much six days a week so I try not to do too much of a night time that's too loud anyway so uh, this morning I, I came out and I marked out uh, my hole locations um, so it's basically four holes in each we're gonna do the legs I'm gonna do the legs tonight anyway and then I might start marking up some uh, extra pieces of steel so uh, I thought what I'd do is I'd probably take a little bit more do a little bit more video uh, of what I'm of the actual whole construction side of things instead of just building stuff and then showing you so that way uh, you can sort of come along for the ride so to speak so we'll uh, get the old C uh, X2 mini mill set up and I'll start uh, center drilling and um, drilling out some uh, some holes for, for these particular legs and what we're going to do is I'm actually, I've actually got some T-nuts that I'll um, that I'll go and grab to show you what we're using, uh, and some 5 16th bolts will actually hold the uh, hold these center pieces. Oh, sorry, hold the cross struts together. But I'll go and just grab the T nuts and uh, and show you. So just hold a sec. Okay, so back. Um, so what the idea is? I've got these little T nuts. Now I'll try and get these to focus if I can. So these little T nuts here are five sixteenths, uh, and they're, they're actually for woodworking. That's what, hence the little spikes on there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grind the spikes off, and all I'm going to do is drill a hole um, a little bit larger than the diameter, outer diameter of uh, the the flange here that holds the thread, and that'll slot down. And then I'm just going to tack uh, tack weld it on, and finish it off. Uh, that's one plan. I'm going to see how well it sits because I'd really like the brackets that I made, the slotted brackets. I'd actually really like them to sit flush up against the the particular legs themselves. But I think this way they're going to sit out slightly because it basically sit out the diameter, um, or the, sorry, the length of the the flange here, which I think is one and a half mil. Um, so. Might just try it by try a bit of trial and error. I might do one uh, to start with, see how it looks one side, and then if it's not what I if it's not going to um, hold the tolerances that I want or as be as stiff as I want because I want the table to be really stiff. Uh, if it's not going to hold the way I want it to, then what I'll end up doing is I'll drill the circle or drill, drill a hole out the diameter of the of the flange. And then I'll just set it in and then weld it in place that way, um, so it's nice and flat that way. I get more surface area of the of the actual bracket onto the leg, but we'll see how we go.
spot on. That should be enough. Perfect. Okay, so here's the first one done. So this is the top. So I've got two holes, uh, one at three and a half inches, the other one at six and a half inches, and then two more down at 21 and a half inches and 24 and a half inches. Because um, we work metric over here, my tape measure does, I do have a, um, a metric and imperial tape measure, but it reads out in um, foot inches. Um, so. I've actually gone and got the, uh, the the sharpie and just written on the on the actual tape all the way up to 60 inches on it because I was got sick and tired of trying to work out well what's two foot three inches on me tape when I was trying to yeah so anyway the sharpies made it a lot easier so that's the first leg done um, I won't bore you with the the other three because it's exactly the same process they're all marked up so I'll just uh, I'll go ahead and drill them and then uh, once they're all done. We'll, I'll bring you back and we'll have a look at uh, where we go next. We'll probably look at uh, the top section or the top, the piece of top tube because um, it needs to have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six holes drilled on it on the top piece, uh, and they that will be where the Y axis rails that that, that angle will actually mount. So uh, we'll come back and have a look at that soon. <laughs> 